Detail biometry is a very important subject. How to do biometry in a correct way? We discussed by bivariatal diameter, head circumference, abdominal circumference, and femur legs. First, by bivariatal diameter. We can measure bivariatal diameter in two view, either lateral ventral view or solomai view. First, lateral ventral view uh, should the head should be in a shape of rugby football, not circular, just oval rugby football shaped skull, uh, as we uh, see in the next picture. Should be long midline, not short midline. And the key from septum pellucidum, the sicting, the middle one third anterior between sensibot and oxbot. And the two anterior horns of the lateral ventricle should be appeared. We discuss this in the picture more obvious. This is a long midline, and this is cave him septum pellucidum by sicting in midline in one third between anterior and posterior. And this anterior horn should be appeared in the picture. And this is long midline, and this is the shape of the head oval or rugby football. Other view is Salamai view, the same rugby football, but the midline is short, and two Salamai <coughs> appear in this view. Show the difference, and the midline is uh, short, not reaching the posterior aspect, and this is Salamai will appear, and there is no anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. We should compare between the two pictures. This, this is the lateral ventricle view, long midline, and the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle, and it's a picture of Salamai view. It's short midline, and Salamas is a beard. The two view is correct. How to measure? Either in the lateral ventricle or Salamai view, from outer to inner. It's very important, not from outer to outer, or from inner to inner, from outer upper part to inner lower part. Head circumference. <clears throat> Head circumference, we measure from outer to outer, not from outer to inner. Bivariatal in breach and transverse line. Uh, in breach and transverse line, uh, the fetal head might be too liquid, long and narrow. So the bivariatal is not so accurate to and lead to underestimation of gestation age due to narrow head. So it's better to do head circumference in this situation. Abdominal circumference. Uh, it seems to be most difficult biometry to be measured is abdominal circumference, but if we be cautious and accurate, we uh, could uh, we can get a good list. Abdominal circumference. We should notice the very important point: circular transverse section of the fetal abdomen should not oval or oblong. Should be circular. Visualization: the whole circumference, short section with the intrahepatic umbilical vein should be appeared. To simplify, we should visualize the stomach, spine and descending aorta, short and broken leg echo. And as a very important aspect, the spine should be at nine or three o'clock, should not be at 12 o'clock or six o'clock because shadowing of the spine masks the other structure. We can look for this picture, this is fine. This is the descending aorta, this is umbilical vein, and this is the stomach, and this is the cut section just above the umbilicus. This ideal cut section for abdominal circumference. We look for this picture, we don't say it easily what we have told before. This is spine, and this is at nine o'clock, and this is descending aorta, and this is short umbilical vein, intrahepatic umbilical vein, and this is stomach. This is a circular section. This is a broken rib. This is the ideal position, our ideal situation to measure abdominal circumference. And this picture, <coughs> is it wrong or right? We concentrate. It's wrong because the spine at 12 o'clock. And so there is a shadow of the spine which may uh, obscure other structure. This picture, what's mm -hmm. about? It's right.
Last one is femur lens. Femur lens should be measured, uh, should be imaged lying as close as possible to horizontal plane. Should femur in horizontal plane like this. Care should be taken to ensure the full lens of the bone is visualized. Single measurement is adequate. This is a picture of the femur lens. You notice this horizontal line. You need to prefer to be like this. Prefer to be in a horizontal plane like this and measure longest distance between the end of the bone to get a good result. Thanks a lot.